Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Gaming. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die, The Drifter. Day 3, got a little tasty morsel walking up on us today. We'll harvest this deer, we'll break down camp, and we'll hit a couple of buildings before Trader Hugh opens. We got a few things to knock out. I want to make the forge. I don't want to get all of Trader Hugh's Tier 1 quests out the way. Let's get started. Alright, good bit of meat. The bone. We got some leather. Now all we need is a sewing kit for a double pocket mod. Getting ready here. Alright, what's this? No. They're not prepared to handle a three skull building. Okay, so this is a zero skull building. Should be able to handle this pretty easy. And now we can do bacon and eggs and coffee. That would have helped a couple of nights ago, but okay. I feel like we're going to find a surprise here soon. Called it. Whoa. Did that snake come right for me? I think that's it, though. I believe that's it. All right, I see dog house. I see dog. No more dog. Whoa, Mo. Buried him. All right, slowly but surely clearing everything out. One skull, I think we can handle one. What we're really hoping for is that time number not to turn red at the 8. Dang. And we can make that. So I'm trying my best not to put any skill points into the pack mule. He went up. That's one way to kill a zombo. Where's the zombies? There they are. Good, no ferals. And I leveled up again. Ooh, stone quality two. Well, what's funny about that is I've been running stone quality two for a while now. Learning. Explosive's nice. I can make pipe bombs now, huh? Aw, oh, man, you need a workbench. That's not cool. Use that, and then we'll bust into this. Oh, no blood moon today. We'll head over to the trader as soon as we crack this open. Alright, now that I've cleaned your place almost completely out, I can't reach that, can I? No, they got smart. Alright. Uh, let's do some business, because I need to get some stuff out of here. So we got a bunch of close stuff. That is fantastic. We'll do a quick clear. Now, the traders restock on day four, which is good, because they've got a bunch of crap. Nothing good. I have a feeling it may be a while before they actually have something good. We'll just spend the day. We'll try and clear out all of his tier one quests. And then towards the end of the day, we'll start gathering supplies in order to make the forge, because I would love to be able to make the forge tonight. Um... Whatever house we decide to hold up in, I'll clear it out of metal, and then we'll use that to make uh, iron arrows, because the stone ones suck. This should be easy. We know where to go. Now, you may have noticed I got rid of my stone spear. That's because, compared to the knife, it sucks. So, until we can make a really good stone spear... We're just going to keep using the blade. Because it's just destroying them. And the boost that I'm supposed to get from looting the magazines for the spear don't seem to be working. Because I never find spear books. Fine. Bring it.
One more. Give me some stamina. Nice. And I didn't even get infected. Ooh, yeah. Bye-bye. Hey, look at these bonuses for the bows. I don't even have any skill points in bows. There's a blood moon coming. Not tonight. Surprise, surprise. All right. Junk. I already got one. Not using 9mm this round. And I do need glue. All right. I need to sell some stuff, dude. All right. Let's do another close... Uh, yeah, we haven't been there yet. Alright, let's clear this place out and head back to the uh, crater, because that was kind of easy. Uh-huh. Alright, more pipe bombs. A lot of duct tape. That kind of sounds good. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to sell some stuff. More jobs, please. Alright, dude, I'm back. Ooh, I probably should get that so I can see better. Let's drop that and get that real fast. Shut up, I'm going to do more jobs. A dollhouse? Oh, look, it's the house I was going to hit anyway. Anybody home? Oh, no. Crazy lunatic. All right, let's get the loot. Head back to the trader. More shotgun shells. Will this game not understand? I don't want to use the shotgun. Okay, it's 1,700 hours. I still want to make the forge. So we're going to hit the trader. I will try one more quest. Uh, he's got another close one. I think it's a fetch. And if it's a clear, I think we can still knock it out. We're fairly close. And then what we'll do is... I know we need cobblestone, which is a lot of stone and clay. And there's several, like, uh, like what's behind here, just like trailers floating around. So we'll use those as our base of operations for tonight. Set up the forge, and we'll try and crank out as many iron arrows as possible to match how many feathers we have to complete a full stack of iron arrows. So we can start really doing some damage with the bow. All right, sniper three. Headshots have a chance to stun. Remember? Yeah. All right, pass and gas. All right, so this one is kind of far. We're going to try it. We're going to try and knock it out pretty quick. It's a clear the area. So we may just wake them all up and just plow through them. And then we'll come back, get the reward. And then while we're heading over, I'm going to look for a place where we can set up shop for the night. Hopefully we can get the forge crafted. We've arrived at the passing gas with not a moment to spare. Yeah, that reload time is atrocious. Hamming it up. Wake up. Come on, lady, get up. All right, we gotta make room. I'm suspecting there's a few. Come on. One at a time, please. One at a time. You must stamina to go back up, please. Very nice. Wait, there's one more. Oh, they're out back. All right, let's grab the main loot. Decisions, decisions. Nice. Okay. With the last ones. Crap, it's a dog. Crap. Get him. Oh, that was a disaster. All right, so let's head back to the trader. We'll get our reward. I marked a trailer map. We should be able to get there. It's already cleared out because we already hit it once. Should be able to get the necessary materials to make the forge so we can craft it tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's blood moon coming. Uh, not bad. Useless, but useless, not useless. Just don't let this go to your head. More, Dude, all of this stuff is just junk. I guess this. Uh, I have enough duct tape. I need nails. 
Yeah, so I should be able to make nails pretty quick. First thing I need to make with the workbench, though, is a wrench. I need mechanical parts. How do I get my mechanical parts? That sucks. All right, let's head to the trailer we've identified as our base for tonight. We have to figure out what we need to make the forge for tonight, and then we'll have to make some tough calls on inventory. Get the forge running. All right, we got the cobblestone a-going. Need a log. Craft that really fast. And now we're going to have a forge. Uh, I will also need to make a land claim block, because once I set it down, if I don't have the land claim in place, I won't be able to pick it back up, and I am not making one of those again. So, tonight, we're going to have lots of fun forging stuff. The problem is, is I need to get materials to forge it. I'm literally going to start just bashing everything until I get enough scrap iron, and then I'll have to grab some more clay. Yeah, and in the morning, I should have a wrench, hopefully, enough iron arrows for my liking, and we'll be set for day four. Remember, day four is Trader Restock Day. So if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. On the next video, Trader Restock Day. Until then, laters.